On October 24, 2024, Northrop Grumman announced that the U.S. Air Force is exploring the expansion of its B-21 Raider bomber fleet to bolster its capabilities in response to increasing challenges posed by China and Russia. This initiative is part of a comprehensive review of the Air Force's force structure, which may also impact the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD fighter program. The B-21 Raider bomber is a pivotal asset for the U.S. Armed Forces, offering long-range stealth bombing capabilities that enable it to penetrate advanced enemy air defenses and deliver both conventional and nuclear payloads. Its advanced design enhances strategic deterrence and allows the U.S. to project power globally, meeting modern operational requirements in contested environments. As threats from peer adversaries grow, a larger B-21 fleet would significantly enhance the Air Force's ability to respond quickly and effectively across multiple regions, providing versatile and survivable strike capabilities. Expanding the B-21 fleet is seen as a cost-effective solution for strengthening U.S. defense posture, especially as older bombers like the B-1 and B-2 approach retirement. Increasing the procurement of B-21s would not only modernize the bomber force but also support both conventional missions and nuclear deterrence. Being in production already, scaling up B-21 procurement could swiftly enhance U.S. military readiness without the delays that accompany the development of new systems, such as the NGAD fighter. In response to the U.S.'s advancements, Russia and China are concurrently developing their own long-range stealth bombers. Russia's PAC-DA aims to replace its aging fleet, featuring advanced radar-evading capabilities and long-range strike potential. Meanwhile, China's H-20 stealth bomber seeks to extend China's strategic reach into adversary territory. Both aircraft are designed to challenge U.S. air superiority and enhance their respective nations' strike capabilities. The B-21 Raider distinguishes itself through cutting-edge stealth technology, advanced materials, and a digital design that improves its radar evasion compared to older bombers. Its modular architecture allows for future upgrades, ensuring adaptability to evolving threats. Furthermore, the B-21's versatility supports both conventional and nuclear missions, providing the U.S. with significant advantages in strategic deterrence and long-range precision strike capabilities. In practical terms, the B-21 could be deployed for strategic strike missions targeting heavily defended adversary military installations, such as missile launch sites or command centers deep within enemy territory. With its advanced stealth capabilities, the B-21 could evade sophisticated air defenses, deliver precise strikes, and safely exit the area. For example, in a crisis scenario involving an adversary with advanced anti-aircraft systems, the B-21 could neutralize radars or surface-to-air missile batteries, clearing the way for other air forces to carry out offensive operations. In addition to its strategic strike functions, the B-21 is equipped to conduct a range of conventional missions, including support for military operations in conflict zones, air interdiction, and precision strikes on mobile targets. For instance, during an air campaign against enemy forces, the B-21 could disrupt defensive positions, ammunition depots, or military convoys, diminishing the adversary's logistical and operational capabilities. Its stealth allows deep penetration into enemy territory, operating in contested environments while reducing risks for pilots and maximizing strike effectiveness. During an earnings call on October 24, Warden indicated that the Air Force is undergoing a thorough review of its force structure, including the B-21 fleet. This assessment is part of a congressionally mandated effort to reassess the service's future capabilities. It coincides with the Air Force's work to finalize the NGAD program's requirements analysis, which faced a pause earlier this year due to concerns about its cost. The NGAD program, aimed at developing a sixth-generation fighter to succeed the F-22 Raptor, was halted pending a decision between two competing designs. Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall cited worries over costs, initially suggesting that each aircraft could cost several hundred million dollars. He expressed a preference for reducing the per-unit cost to a range closer to that of the F-35 fighter, between $80 million and $100 million. Achieving such savings could yield tens of billions in savings across a planned fleet of 200 to 250 NG-80 fighters. While the Air Force maintains that a fleet of 100 B-21 Raiders would suffice for current operational needs, there is growing advocacy within the defense community for a larger fleet. The B-21 is poised to replace the aging B-2 Spirit and B-1 Lancer bombers, offering a long-range stealth platform capable of penetrating advanced air defenses, an essential element for future strategic deterrence. Northrop Grumman, as the prime contractor for the B-21, has indicated readiness to ramp up production should the Air Force opt to expand the fleet.
Warden mentioned that a decision regarding the fleet size will likely become clearer as the force structure review unfolds in the coming months. The performance and cost targets achieved during the B-21's initial production phase will influence the Air Force's choices. Cost considerations have been central to these discussions. The bomber's original unit cost was set at $550 million in 2010, approximately $780 million today. Despite this, Kendall informed Congress that B-21 production costs had remained below projections during the low-rate initial production phase. However, costs are expected to rise as production increases in later batches. Several senior officials and defense analysts advocate for a larger B-21 fleet beyond the initial 100 units. Retired Colonel Mark Gunzinger, a senior fellow at the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies, emphasizes the necessity of increasing the Air Force's bomber capacity to counter emerging threats effectively. He argues that the current bomber force is inadequate for a rapidly changing strategic environment, particularly when deterring or responding to simultaneous threats from adversaries like Russia and China. Gunzinger believes that the B-21 is exceptionally positioned to enhance both conventional and nuclear deterrence due to its stealth, range, and substantial payload capacity. He contends that acquiring more B-21s at an accelerated pace is the most cost-effective strategy for strengthening U.S. power projection capabilities. General Anthony J. Cotton, head of U.S. Strategic Command, has also expressed support for increasing the B-21 bomber fleet, highlighting their significance in maintaining a credible deterrent posture. Analysts like Christopher Bowie share this perspective, suggesting that 100 aircraft may not suffice for the U.S. to achieve its strategic objectives especially since even the most advanced bomber can only be in one location at a time. A pivotal question in the ongoing review is whether potential savings from reducing the NGAD program could be redirected toward funding additional B-21 bombers. The Air Force is balancing the demands of modernizing its aging fleet with budget constraints. However, some experts, including Gunzinger, caution against viewing the NGAD and B-21 programs as interchangeable. This pause has allowed the B-21 to assume a more significant role in the Air Force's future force structure. Northrop Grumman's readiness to increase production enhances the service's strategic flexibility as it navigates modernization challenges under fiscal limitations. Warden noted that the Air Force is expected to award a second low-rate initial production LRIP contract for the B-21 by the end of the year. The first LRIP contract was issued following the bomber's inaugural flight last year although the specifics of the number of aircraft covered by this agreement remain undisclosed. The ongoing force structure review and budget negotiations will likely impact future production rates and fleet size decisions. As the Air Force evaluates its options, the B-21 remains integral to the broader strategy for enhancing U.S. air power capabilities. The decision on whether to expand the fleet of stealth bombers will depend on various factors, including cost, technological developments, and the evolving threat landscape. Meanwhile, Northrop Grumman positions itself to respond quickly to increased demand, offering the U.S. government flexibility in shaping the future of its bomber force. The reconsideration of the B-21 fleet size highlights the dynamic nature of the U.S. Air Force's modernization strategy, driven by strategic needs and budgetary realities. With the ongoing review of the NGAD program and discussions about expanding the bomber fleet, the Air Force stands at a critical juncture. Decisions made in the coming months will profoundly influence the future of American air power and its ability to deter adversaries and project power globally.